613 right now this morning, a tribute to the late Jesse Trevino, the renowned San Antonio artist, died almost two months ago. But his memory lives on. We found out in his final days, the 76-year-old was not aware a group of artsy fourth graders actually got asked to reinterpret his painting, La Corandera. Marvin Hurst shows us the final product in this morning's Kids Who Make San Antonio Great. For 15 years, Strengthening emotional awareness through, through experiential arts education. A single street has connected a school and an art gallery to a prolific purpose. Then a higher calling came their way. Yeah, so Jesse was a very, very dear friend and a great loss. But University Health asked the Benavides Art Gallery. You know, I was uh, a handler of his artwork which was a pretty prestigious thing because not everybody could touch a Jesse Trevino. To use fourth grade artists to reinterpret Jesse Trevino's La Curandera, while the original piece gets restored. The Briscoe Elementary School students are in the gallery's nonprofit called Studying Mindful Art Resources Together, or SMART. When we teach them about San Antonio local artists and where they are, they just light up. 60 students made the trip across the street to learn how the artful Trevino lost his right hand in the Vietnam War, but it never severed his talent. And when he got the arm, he started trying and trying and trying until he got really good. He learned how to use his left hand to paint the stories of San Antonio. He helped me learn that even if you have difficult challenges in the way, you could do whatever is your passion, you could do it. The students got busy with their assignment, creating jars and drawers of magic medicine. The kids came up with the concept to create the botanica with words that heal, because Smart believes that words are very healing. Painted with laughs and love you, sunshine and smiles, hope and healing, puppies and music, and a healing woman wearing a mask, standing near the power of belief. Even if you're not feeling well, you should always push through that. Word of Trevino's illness got to the students, so they started making him get well cars, choosing to produce them with their non-dominant hand. You know, when we asked him, why did you want to do that, Axel? And he said, because then Mr. Trevino won't feel so alone. At the suggestion of this fourth grader, because I wanted to challenge myself and see how he felt. One student wrote, Dear Jesse, I'm sending you courage, strength, and dogs. Another wrote, I hope you get well soon. Your artwork is the best. You are the most inspiring person. This student wrote, You are my idol. I love your work. My brother Ellis thinks you hung the moon. Before the 76-year-old artist could get the cards or see the student's final version of his work, he died. And that as quickly as we were done and he was gone, he was smiling on us, knowing that he isn't forgotten, that his legacy will live on. We'll continue to talk about him and teach about him. Mm -hmm. Marvin Hurst, KINS 5. If you want to see the kids work now, you can make an appointment at the Benavides Art Gallery. It's going to be uh, also hang at University Health's Texas Diabetes Institute, Long Trevino's restored La Corandera in September. What a How touching tribute. of those Truly. kids. Absolutely. What a touching tribute that was. And look at the lesson that he left everyone with. Mm -hmm. Not only was he an incredible artist, but perseverance is mm -hmm. what these kids mm -hmm. picked up on. And to hear all of these messages from these children, so much to be learned from our littles. Well, That's the thing I think we often overlook what they see. Mm -hmm. For the kids to get it that I, I want to use my, my weaker hand, mm -hmm. you know, to experience mm. what he did. That's amazing. Well, I'm inspired this morning 